morning, it's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading, the 28th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the stats first of all. Asian markets overnight, certainly uh, taking into account, obviously, Pulse Jackson Hole, uh, Mr. Draghi certainly uh, refraining from talking down the euro, although he did have some dovish comments. And obviously uh, Yellen uh, totally refraining from talking about uh, any monetary policy uh, decisions at all, although she did talk about uh, the uh, situation with regards to the banks and uh, the fact that she uh, certainly ridiculed Mr. Trump's uh, attempt at deregulating the industry, stating that obviously the... Uh, bringing up memories or um, the uh, the potential aftermath of the credit crunch part one. And um, from my understanding, the way in which Mr. Trump is going, or the, the way in which he's headed, we're certainly going to embrace credit crunch part two, and it's probably already begun. Uh, and the the next potential uh, chaotic um, uh, reason for the markets to slide certainly has already been triggered and is in motion from my perspective, especially with Mr. Trump obviously at the helm. Now, uh, Mr. Trump's obviously false promises of tax regulation, infrastructure, and so on, deregulation, certainly isn't working thus far, okay? Markets, uh, one can argue that markets have certainly pushed higher on corporate earnings, but even then that certainly is um, questioned to a large extent given the fact that we have uh, a, a Fed and the ECB and the BOEO, basically all central banks around the world, uh, their monetary policy is, is very, very easy. And remains dovish okay so one can attribute that to the dovish nature of central banks nevertheless that's the status quo so the aftermath really is that the um, price of uh, sterling and the euro certainly has rocketed higher which in turn has led for your to european equities certainly trading lower this morning now we know the FTSE 100 is off due to bank holiday so obviously that's not being traded at present we're certainly focusing on the german dax which is down 57 points the french gank which is down 10 although it was down uh, much more uh, substantially more the German DAX has actually closed that gap below at 12.060. So Asian markets overnight certainly have taken it, uh, taken the sell-off in uh, US equities and European equities um, in their stride, with the Shanghai still closing up 0.9%. One of the reasons why the Shanghai certainly has pushed high is that the Indians and the Chinese have certainly come to an agreement with regards to the border dispute, and that's certainly helping equities in terms of uh, the uncertainty surrounding that certainly being uh, negated. Now we have had North Korea fire a few tests, uh, a few more missiles or projectiles over the weekend. Again, Mr. Tillerson has certainly talked that down, so no um, provocative rhetoric there um, from the uh, Trump's uh, admin. Uh, certainly are attempting to talk that down. Mr. Trump has uh, engaged, or there was an article from Axios uh, indicating Mr. Trump has been alluding to uh, a tariffs, but again, it certainly seems like it's empty talk, empty talk along with the rest of his presidencies thus far. Uh, so again, Mr. Draghi really is the story of uh, a stronger euro hurting European equities, and that's exactly what's occurred. If I bring up the technical uh, picture here, German DAX, as you can see here, German DAX in a 60-minute chart, flushed, uh, gaps lower. Uh, as you can see, gaps down almost 100 pips uh, down, and actually closes that gap at 12.060, and then subsequently bounces quite sharply. Now, from my perspective, certainly furthermore, um, potentially more, uh, declines to come especially with the euro being above 1.19 if you look at the euro usd let's bring this up okay so you can see one euro usd 1.1936 uh, again exceptionally exceptionally strong at present daily chart obviously you can see here's a breakout any breakout certainly is uh, is, uh, is certainly interpreted as being uh, bearish for eurozone economy because it hurts exports okay so a stronger euro is certainly negative for the german dank so certainly look for further weakness on there 10 minute chart certainly has a bounced off gap fill which was already expected okay so certainly bounced we are looking for we are we do have an unfilled gap above uh, previous support equals resistance so you are now into resistance for the german dax and certainly you can't uh, certainly um, uh, uh, negate the fact that uh, we we could possibly break 12,000 today you do have an unfilled gap that remains uh, unfilled at 12013 okay so again just bear that in mind so potentially further uh, more slides on the uh, German DAX. Uh, the French CAC certainly has bounced off that double bottom, okay, even though Mr. Macron's uh, obviously approval rating is certainly sliding. Jobless claims certainly increased as well, uh, adding the fact that you have a stronger euro now and he has concerns with regards to labour reform back home. Uh, he's no longer the uh, the Prince Charming everybody expected. It was more of a um, 
a relief that uh, Le Pen certainly got uh, overthrown, given her radical and extremist views, and her racist and fascist, obviously, beliefs, just like Mr. Trump. They, uh, they really are ignorant individuals, but either way, uh, certainly attempting to divide the populace, okay, uh, and that certainly isn't going to happen, thank God, okay, so she certainly wasn't voted in, uh, certainly a blessing in disguise, well, not disguise, blessing in uh, in being, a blatant blessing, should we say. Okay, so again, uh, looking for weakness here, you do have an unfilled gap above, that's not going to close given the fact that you have a stronger euro, that's my interpretation. Okay, so uh, you, for euro stocks, let's look at euro stocks now, okay, euro stocks at the moment, you still have a, a bearish channel, so bear that in mind. Keep that into keep that in perspective with the euro USD above 1.19. Now we do have the unfilled gap that needs to close below at 3406. So I'll be certainly be targeting that, looking for that to potentially close 3406 gap. Okay, so watch out. You have bounced from double bottom, so again you need to respect that. But like I said, we need to close that gap at 3406. So potential retest at 3412, but don't be surprised when 3406 closes as well. Okay, the unfilled gap above at 3440. Mm. Very hard from my perspective for that to close, especially with the euro at 1.19. So therefore, obviously risk and negative. Okay, um, FTSE 100, I'm not going to go over because it's a bank holiday. Uh, I take it all UK traders are enjoying themselves, okay? Uh, and certainly uh, encourage you to enjoy yourself too, especially with the cracking weather outside. So I think this probably will be my only video, uh, although if I get time later on, I'll certainly do a wrap up here because I'm setting off to London soon. Okay, so uh, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus, okay? Trade with cfds.com. Also, uh, certainly download the latest app at uh, Google Play and uh, the App Store, uh, Apple's App Store, Trade Signal. Goodbye now.